This is the Help Ukraine Center in Lublin, Poland, where about 150 volunteers work daily to sort, pack and deliver humanitarian and medical aid to Ukraine as Russia continues its war on the country. Colton Smith, a volunteer from California, has been helping here for two months. I have had no closer connection with any conflict in my life as I have with the war in Ukraine. I've been following the developments that have been happening ever since the revolution back in 2014. And I just I couldn't stand by while what was going on um, as I continued to do my job back in California. Um, when the invasion broke out, my heart shattered and I, I couldn't smile. Volunteers include Ukrainian refugees, too. They left behind jobs, friends, families, hobbies and plans for their futures. Now they are here helping those who stayed behind. Coordinator Olga Rudniva says Ukrainian businesses, big and small, united to open the center. And we are running here for, since March. We have the 900 volunteers who are ready to join us anytime. And we have another 40 people approximately every day who come here to sort humanitarian aid. So what we actually do, we gather all humanitarian aid sorted here by categories from Europe and non-EU countries as well. In collaboration with Ukrainian government, they deliver aid to Mariupol, Mykolaiv, Chernihiv, Kharkiv and many other Ukrainian centers where people need immediate help. Coordinators say so far the center has delivered over 6,000 tons of humanitarian aid to Ukraine. Well-known figures also joined the effort, like the winners of the 2022 Eurovision Song Competition, the Ukrainian music rap group called Kalush Orchestra. The group volunteered a few hours before leaving to perform at the charity concert in Lublin to support the operation. We came to the biggest volunteer center in Europe to see it, say thank you and help. Exhausted but happy, the musicians and volunteers together sing Stefania, the group's song, which has come to represent Ukrainian refugees. The groups uplift each other with words to stay strong and united for Ukraine's future. Miroslava Gongadze, BOA News, Lublin, Poland.